Wait, hold on. It's hot in here. It is a little hot in here. I was Wait, thinking we, the same we, thing. Hold on. Oh, yours. Gotta... Stand up. I guess. Oh, no oh. fucking way. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, my God. Woo. How quickly did you guys make these? What this happened mean? last week. We did get it done professionally. We got one for you as well. Uh, Megan Trainer's FaceTiming me. Show her the shirt. Oh. Embarrassing. What's up, guys? And welcome to 125 of Dropouts. This week, we have a guy who's only gay for clout. Um, Chris oh Olsen, how does it feel to go against the community just for your own monetary and social gain? Huh? I was surprised you figured it out that quickly. Oh, it was easy. Oh, it was Zach easy. had a read on you from day one. Oh. You, you guys were talking about me before I got in here, and I felt that vibe. Oh, oh yeah, exactly. I could tell. I was <laughs> like, he's going to show up in bright colors, and then he's going <laughs> to try to fit some stereotypes, and that's wrong. And you're I talked right. to, apparently, <laughs> <You're> <laughs> apparently you used to date yeah. a man um, named Ian, and, and he called me, and he said, you paid him? And, I I and that's disgusting. Right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with that one. Um, I well, Let me swallow my gum. You're just going to swallow your gum like well, that? Well, while he's doing that, oh, let's yeah. hit some intro music. <laughs> Good. Take your time to swallow gum. It's already gone. I'm yeah. a gum swallower. You are. I've never been... <laughs> I've never been... You've rhymed that with a different word in the past. <laughs> just be honest. <laughs> I'm already... <laughs> We've been, I've been here for two minutes, and I feel like my entire identity is at stake here. You've also said that in the bedroom, I assume. There, <laughs> I've already been here for two oh minutes. God. <laughs> is this a trial? Yes, I am a gum swallower. I don't, I, I just, it's so much more convenient. Okay. okay, it's convenient, but does that not cause like digestive issues? Did you like, ever see the Rugrats episode where it's like, if you chew that gum, it's in there for life? And I think that's a lie. Okay, I've, perpetrated I've swallowed- by who? By the Rugrats. Ugh. Okay, maybe like the for life is a thing, but it's like, don't they say it's like months or years that it's in there? Yeah, but who can prove that? I've swallowed so much gum in my life. Do Man. you see it come yeah. out though? Gum. No, no, I hear you. I'm not one to judge. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Because as we know, I'm straight. So yeah. that would be the only thing I'm swallowing. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I've swallowed so much gum in my life and I everything seems to be fine in, in here. <sighs> <laughs> Zach, just you're, the, you're really holding yourself back. No, I am. I am because I don't want to be disrespectful to our guests. Um, you already have. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> then let's, just go off, let's just go off the deep end. I'm. The ugh, I hate playing next. No, no, no. no I, I know you're a man of homosexual descent, and I apologize <laughs> homosexual for, descent. for putting it out there that you might not be. And it's, that's not my place. No, it's okay. Um, we all are. Well, Jared, right. what? <laughs> he just said we all are. I guess yeah. we're all on a spectrum. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, you're just tiptoeing closer to a 10. I think <laughs> pretty close, yeah. pretty close. I think we all probably came from um, like a, a one gay man at the start of time, and that's where that's where it's all kind of well, evolved from. Um, Jared, Jared, is he has two gay parents. I have two moms. He has Love two that. moms. Yeah, so Good times all around. Great times. <laughs> Very fun. Is it is it a genetic thing? The pa- like. So do you think is it, <laughs> does it pass down? I mean, I do have gay. I have a gay aunt. Okay, for sure. I don't know how passed down it is. Okay, um, so because Jared was like, he's questioning his sexuality a little bit. So I'm he not, was. I'm not. But, but, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you we can talk about it. If yeah, you we want. can talk about it, Jared. No, it's it's completely fine. I'm not questioning my sexuality. Right. Zach likes to think that it's like a, it's like a trait. It's like a gene that's like blue eyes. Well, Jared thinks it's a choice. No, I don't think it's a choice. (laughs) I actually, no, I asked my mom, I was like, do you ever wish that I was gay? And she was like, no, I would never wish that. And I was like, why? And she's like, she's like, just the struggles that, you know, the, the yeah, there are gay some community struggles. has to go through. They're like, she was like, I would never wish that on anybody. Yeah. So when you're like starting out in life, it's not the most fun thing to like mm. discover about yourself. Yeah. Like I, I remember a, a guest speaker came to our school in like sixth grade. And as I was going to bed at night, I was thinking about him. Oh, oh was he a good looking man? <laughs> no. Oh. Like this was an, <laughs> no. like okay. this was an He was an astronaut, first of all. He was an older man. Okay. And I remember just like lying in bed, being like, why am I going to- Explore my (laughs) Uranus. Whatever the joke is. That was hard to listen to. Um, (laughs) It's okay. And I I remember thinking about and just being like, this can't be. This can't be real. What's going on right now? I can't be thinking about this astronaut who came to our school in a sexual way. I, I must be straight. So I pulled up. Lady Gaga's telephone music video. That'll do it. Because there's, okay. yeah. there's so, a lot of provocative dancing in that. And that already tells you. I'm trying to find out how I'm not gay, so I pull up a Lady Gaga music <laughs> yeah. video. That, that was my first kind of like right. thought. 
where yeah. you were just like, I pulled up Lady Gaga and I was like, and you you were still questioning at yeah. that point. I pulled <laughs> and it up. And flaccid, I assume. It, well, so here's, okay. so here's the thing. I just paused at a moment and I stared and I was like, be turned on. <laughs> yeah. You got this. It's going to happen for you. And as soon as I felt any like, hmm, then I was like, great. <laughs> I'm like, good. I shut I shut the computer and I was like, oh okay, I'm I'm fine. But that was okay. like a very formative memory. I was like, I think there I think there's something different, but wow. Lady Gaga will save me from this. <laughs> but in fact, she just perpetuated it. Oh. Was that Classic your lady. first sort of kind of like um sexual butter, awakening? Yeah, sexual awakening. Was like this butterfly astronaut? moment? Honest, like, yes. I don't know. I always had girls. He's just, he's just in his bed. Fly me <laughs> to the moon. moon. <laughs> Let me <laughs> oh my among God. the stars. Oh my God, that image. I, I guess so. Like, I, I had always had more girlfriends growing up. Like, my birthday parties were like 20 girls. And then I, my, my mom was like, you have to invite some guys. And I yeah. was like, okay. So I would invite like six total. <laughs> like, I, I remember that number being specific, like six guys. And that was about it. So it was all always like known that I was, uh, one of the girls, it was one of the gays, one of the girls, but, um, I, my formative memory was that time. And then theater camp was my first Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. theater, theater, camp. theater, camp, will do it. theater yep. camp will do it. I went to theater camp for seven years every summer. That's the opposite of a conversion camp. <laughs> <laughs> that will, that'll just open up the flood. I went to theater camp and I went to an, uh, theater boarding school. So right when I went there, it was Whoa. just like game over. That was yeah, that was the, the game norm. Over there is being gay. If yeah. you're like, if you're straight, people are like, you, you are have you to sure? come out to your friends. If you're straight, you're like, I think I like girls, and they're like, and they don't what? believe you right yeah. away. They're like, okay, they're like, you're at a theater boarding school. Yeah, they're like, but you've thought about it before, right? Like you, you you're just fully straight. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how to talk to you then. Like it, it's very it's. And, and we don't mean to pigeonhole you into this being your only personality trait. And I feel like- but it think, is. Okay, go then, it is. then we can lean into it. It's like, it's like, it's like, oh, of course he comes on and you bring up gay immediately. Who am I to do that? But now right. we want to lean into it a little bit. Okay, so the first time you saw that that meat hanging from a from a male specimen, like in the wild. Like, was in the that, wild. Yeah, was that a good experience? Were what you like, in oh, the wild mean? Let me get over there and grab that, uh, mm, that Subway sandwich. That definitely wasn't what I was thinking about okay. at that point. It did. It took a, it took a while before I said, um, let me hang on to that Subway mm. sandwich. <laughs> it took me a while before Five dollars those for long, words whatever you guys came call it. out. To my, it came out of my mouth. Um, <laughs> right, right. But now uh, they're coming in. And yeah, the, well, that was even later. Okay, okay, sure. we'll get into it, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess I, I can't, no, I, I really can't remember the first time I was like, I want that. But I do know that as soon as I discovered I was like, as soon as high school started, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, it's like gay is definitely the way for me. <laughs> I was like, but I, I knew that I was also a, um, a bottom as they would call it because, oh. because I just knew that that needed to go in something rather than me put something in someone. So you've never gone in someone. I have. Okay. <laughs> we all try it, yeah. you know, and and but there's a lot of people who uh, will only do that. But I, 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 you're and you're, I, a, you're a verse. Mm, no, switch. Is that what they well, call? they do call that. They do Hell call yeah. them that for sure. <laughs> Zach's been studying his urban dictionary. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is just a very. This is an informative podcast. Yeah, uh -huh. This is an informational podcast. I came on to spread knowledge and wealth. Exactly. Oh, thank goodness. Yes. You're the first. Gay person we've ever talked about. <laughs> um, well, this, this like what, a lot. what word was coming out first? The, that, but I was just nervous. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, it's, it's, it looked like it was you were about to say like bottom or something like that. And if that's no, true too, then. no, we usually slurred up. What is it? After thirty minutes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, because that then, that's past like the retention rate for this podcast. Especially like, the, so, the ad people, they 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 leave after about the thirty minute mark. Then we get the gist, and then and then I can go heinous. Right. Yeah. right. I'll start throwing words at you that'll you know knock your socks off. Yeah. Is that the phrase that you were thinking of? Nope. Okay, that's what I thought. That's the vibe I was getting <laughs> yeah. for sure. No, we're all bigots here, right, Jared? No. Oh, okay. Just you. Keep going. Sorry. I, I I never had a formative moment where I was like, I want that specifically, but I was always just more attracted to a man than I was a a, a woman. A woman like the the girls were my friends. Yeah. I couldn't I couldn't think of doing anything. Do you want to look directly in the camera and just say how gross women are and their bodies? Is basically what you're saying. Just right down the barrel. I, I, What's gross about them? That I, 
Did they lactate? I oh, have, you're just lactose no. intolerant. <laughs> so you went, you went for the other white substance that secretes out of humans. Cool. So I have viewed straight porn before. Oh my god! And I think no. it's okay. That's literally against I'm not your whole thing. About it, and I think it's it's. A, there's, in fact, many versions of it that are quite frightening, but I think there are some where it's like, get it on. Go team. Yeah. <laughs> Go. You, just, you just, you know, you some people that. are automatic. You like to drive stick. It's not a big deal. Right. It's a preference. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, and, and then, but you said, oh, what was it earlier? You texted me, girls, was it? What? I didn't. Girls, boobs are, <laughs> girls, boobs are abomination or something like that. <laughs> it's, uh, we haven't really texted. Oh, we should though. Should we, bring- <laughs> <laughs> we should, should talk we- about things like that. Um, okay. Is that what you think? That- girls, no, I, I do love a supple breast. Right. Yeah. And you see, I see how I said that in a very respectful way. You did. Yeah. I would never, I would never go up to a woman and honk, honk. no, that's not me. <laughs> this is what I am. Ma'am, may I? Yes. <laughs> okay. And then I lift from the bottom because I hold the weight <laughs> of the woman's. I hold the weight of the woman's breast because I heard their back could hurt because of all the weight. And right. I just want to. I want to lift women up and take a little burden off. <laughs> yeah, right. Unlike you, you know. <laughs> you want nothing to I do want, with want, them. You want nothing to do with them. I'm, I, I I haven't considered that. So. Well, you should. Yeah. How about you diary about it tonight and we'll you get back to about, each other. You talk about oh the girls are my friends. I would do anything for yeah. them. You're not doing anything. Yeah. You'll never You're not supple doing a shit. breast. <laughs> Do you know how expensive bras are? <laughs> pretty, pretty pricey. Okay, and Probably. your hands are free. So lift a, <laughs> lift a couple tits and get back to me. Okay. All right. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm crying. There I are see. tears coming out of my eyes. I just feel so guilty. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what's. I think that's what's happening right like, now. Like you're always you're so worried about everyone else being your ally. When are you going to be an ally for the straights, huh? <laughs> I, I and I've thought about that a lot of times because okay, you've good. been saying that to me since we met. Yeah, Three the first thing ago. I ever said, I, I came up to him, I just grabbed you by the collar, I threw you against the wall, and you're like, now? I'm like, this isn't what this is. And I said, you need to be an ally for the streets. And he said, yes, sir. Everything and changed that night. Everything changed that night. Do you remember where we were? Um, I thought we met at a saddle ranch. We did. Yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing you, and it was one of the best days of my life. Oh, okay. Oh, I, okay. I I did not expect where the, I didn't think that we were going to go down that direction. But okay. that was really nice. He's like, I change. didn't think we were going to be genuine. <laughs> um, <laughs> you were you were there with? Were you there alone? No, I was. Oh, okay. Who were you there with? <laughs> That's interesting, dude. He loves just <laughs> poking and prodding. I'm just wondering who you were there with, dude. I was. Oh no, I was alone. I, I, I was. <laughs> I met someone else. You met someone else. It was uh, well. I uh, Brittany Broski was there. Brittany and Broski we was talked there for a second. So she and was then, with me. Nah. And then and then there's there, a guy. Uh, it, well, who were you with? I was. Uh, I was there with Indiana and her manager. Yes. Um, and so, then you were and there I was with you guys there. No, there's this other guy. No. You guys used to like do TikToks together. I forgot what his name is. Um, Me too. Um, it's also like the middle of like Indiana's name. Ind- Ian. In- Indiana. Um, I can't. Ian. Oh, oh my that? God. You guys get back together? What's going on? Okay. Take, take a sip really of water. Yeah, you got to take a sip. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's just so clear. Listen, it's, we have to cover our guys, base. We have can't. to cover our boring bases here. We don't want to get into it because you're our friend here. But without going to the details, how much does a public breakup just suck? Oh my God, not fun. But uh, the numbers, huh? But, <laughs> but the you got okay. TikToks go crazy. You're crying, you're crying your eyes out, but tell me you didn't like refresh the the view rate at least like 80 times. Um. So, uh, well, I actually posted it right before I went into a personal training session. Mm. So I wouldn't be able to look at it right away. Gotcha. But, but when I got out and I saw that it had a lot of views, yeah. I was like, well. Oh, I should use more people. No. Oh. <laughs> Or whatever you did with I, him. No. Well, he texted me before this. He, you, he did not. You don't have his number. You guys have never spoken. We have spoken at a saddle ranch. At a saddle ranch. I'll have you know. Hello. Oh God. Oh God. What was that? Oh, Nothing. Was that? <laughs> did you just play his voice? <laughs> yeah. Jared. Sorry. Be respectful to our guests. I, I never am. ask about him. Did <laughs> this is wild? Um, I well, yeah. So sure, it was a big day for sure on f- for the for the TikTok. But like I also clout. yeah. Well, I actually I we were we I dropped a lot of followers because people were like, well, we don't want to see this guy without without Ian. I've since gained those back, but um, I think- So like you texted me before you came that getting rid of Ian Man, was- yes, He was holding lot. you back. <laughs> we have never- <laughs> You said he was holding you back in such a way that now you can finally, like, he was like the guy that was clipping your wings mm, and now you can fly out of right. that birdcage or was whatever it is. Was that the text I sent? Uh, it was a voice memo, so it went away. But, <laughs> but yeah. It's weird. Let's move past it. Huh? I sh- 
for sure. For okay, sure. okay. It's, um, I'm so sorry for bringing it up. You should be. It's right. disgusting. <laughs> it's, we don't like you, heartbreak on this podcast. Yeah, all right? I can tell. Um, okay, so you, so, Mr. Chris Olson. Yeah. Not related to the twins, obviously. No, but I used um, to say I was. Obviously, you're a liar, especially <laughs> with the whole, you know. Oh, wait, what should we get into? What's the most clickbaity? Uh, let's talk, we'll go Harry Styles first. I mean, it, you, you're in the okay. news, you know. All right, yeah. Um, in fact, the only times I was trending on Twitter was for the breakup and for the Harry Styles poster. Which one did you like more on a clout basis? <laughs> probably the Harry Styles poster. <laughs> probably. It did. So it's probably. a 50-50 coin flip. All right. <laughs> no, fuck. It didn't, no, the, yeah, the breakup didn't didn't feel too good for sure when I was uh, trending for that one. But the, the Harry Styles one was a fun moment that was different. And did you go in already having a relationship with Mr. Hair? No. And so you you show up with, what is it, a daddy? A daddy sign, daddy question mark. Gotcha. I went to Michael's. Wait, hold on, it's hot in here. It is It is a little hot in here, no isn't it? No fucking way. What? Oh. This is ridiculous. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? It's hot I, in here. I was Wait, thinking we, the same thing. Crack the AC? Like, I don't know. Well, at least oh, we, just, we, we open oh, up man. these. Hold on. Oh, gotta, sure, stand up. I stand no up. fucking way. Oh. That's so much better. Oh my God. Woo. How quickly did you guys make these? What this happened mean? last week, <laughs> even, or like two weeks ago. What are you talking is about? This, is that screen printed? Or is that just <laughs> is that just taped on? Um, it's, uh, I, if you have to know, which is it's a little invasive, we did get it done professionally. We did get it done professionally. Um, um, these shirts, oh, oh, we actually, we got one for you as well. Uh, Megan Trainer is FaceTiming me. Show her the shirt. Oh. Embarrassing. Answer oh, it. I should actually answer yeah, it. Yeah, answer it. Um, hey, girl, I'm doing a podcast right now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Her, look at their shirt. Look at the shirt. Daddy. Here we go. We and got a daddy, one for and him another as well. daddy shirt. Can you believe that? Are on the show now? Well, Hi. yeah. You, can you guys hear that? We, there we, she is. We usually like more high profile guests than her. <laughs> It's Megan Trainer, the star, the star. Are you, everything good? Everything's great. We were just literally talking about how you're so successful and so young, and now we're like upset. Oh, so she's <laughs> lying. You hear Just, that? Are you using her? T- are you using her too for clout? <laughs> no. In fact, if. If, if anything, I'm being used for to be oh, honest. To promote some music. Um, <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. We. I love you. You're so successful and so famous. We love you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. It's a little awkward that she said love to me for like I haven't I don't know her. So if you could right. just bring that up, be like, okay, just don't I don't know, just don't say that to me if right. I don't know you yet. For sure, we don't have a relationship. Okay, yet. all right. Um, Are you gonna be okay? I mean, there's name dropping and then there's answering name dropping, and that was pretty wild. Dude, wasn't I told to answer the call? No, I don't remember. I remember being like, no. seriously, you would have said that. Seriously, you're on a show and you're like, it's Megan Trainer. You can wait. Does, <laughs> it's does anyone want to roll back the clip? And uh, oh. yeah, roll back the clip and then here, Jared, in editing, obviously pull, uh, do this. I'm about to answer the phone because it's Megan Trainer. Uh, you guys can wait because she's way more famous than you guys. Hey, can girl, answer. I'm doing a podcast podcast right now and then just put is that, that okay. how my voice sounds put that over is um no but if i if i went if i code switched which i don't no if i <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, which I no don't. if i did oh, that would did. be problematic i will say actually i do because one time i did a, another podcast and it was with uh the two straights okay oh and you were just code switching it up and i there started was no- my voice started very low uh you can it, it's very like it's obvious i'm like yeah i uh I I um I don't know what I even talked about on that yeah, podcast. Sports but and I, shit. Yeah, sports. <laughs> okay. And I was talking about Way to that. just stereotype Jared. I'm Stereoty- stereotyping straight. So yeah, okay, I'm allowed disgusting. to do that. He's almost an ally, and you just backed him right out. Um, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you okay. hold up a sign. Yeah, I I held up a sign. I went to Michael's like a, a, two hours before the show. Got a little just like some poster board, and then had my friend. I I actually messed up writing "Daddy" on the back side of it, so she serious? rewrote it and did that on the front. And um, I held it up. Um, and the the girls behind me before the moment happened, yelled at me to put it down because it was too big. So I put it down and was really like embarrassed to be holding it up. But then the sign moment came around and then even when I wasn't holding it up, the camera guy panned to me and then then I knew it was time. It was meant to be. It was time to <laughs> hold it up. You're like in a that magnet fashion. for the camera, yeah. You think? Yeah, I mean, you're a superstar. Well, Thanks. usually I'm just putting it on myself. Also, that was a real compliment and I appreciate it. He never does that. No, he doesn't. And he, all the times we've texted. <laughs> Voice memoed. Voice memo. So they all disappear. 
Yeah, because really, if you look through our text, all it says is five minutes away. And he says, cool, cool. Oh, well, no, I texted it. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like me. <laughs> I, I, cool, cool. And he has his his read receipts on. Do you have yours on? No. That's hot, God, though, right? No. It's scary. Why? That's it's terrifying. It's intimidating. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to know if you're are, are you're ignoring me. Not that you have in the three times we've texted, but <laughs> I don't want to know. I've been, I've been pretty you know, punctual when it comes to our um, transactions on- You have been. iMessage. Yeah. But no, I've, uh, I, I, like, I feel like it just lets people know, you know, I'm a down to earth guy. If I read it, it's going to let you know. Okay. Have you ever like intentionally left someone on red? Yeah, and it, it's it, you have the ability to really hurt people. Exactly. So I love the, I want the ability and not to make this podcast about me. I want to I want the ability to really lift someone up as much as I can remember <laughs> or <laughs> absolutely tear them down. Right. I just want that power. Which you've done both in the past 20 minutes. Yeah, and then you here. did that to Ian in the past. I, okay, oh so Harry Harry <laughs> Styles. Oh, he also texted me after the show. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, the daddy thing was so iconic." Harry texted you after the show. Uh yeah okay. and <laughs> all right can you stop? he just he he knows everybody just don't even question it I can it. tell yeah. I can tell and he was like yeah he snuck backstage afterwards and this is his words not mine mm-hmm. tried to snort a line of my semen <laughs> so so we like obviously every disgusting. story has two sides so yeah. we just want to get your side yeah your side what happened uh I left after the show finished after he finished you no left. <laughs> <laughs> there's no i well first of all if that were the story how was his out already that's what he does after the show to get that's his good question get his jitters out that's what i'm <laughs> yeah and how would i have known that you look like somebody that would know that <laughs> you know what's that look a judgmental okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i left right after the show was done i i i had a i was riding the high and only the high okay. of- Is that your nickname for him? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I, I, was, I was enjoying the moment that had just happened. And I, I trust me, I know. And I, and I left. The, okay. I have never interacted with him in a personal level. That wasn't in front of a lot of people. At, mm-hmm. Well, if you ever need the hookup, I'll, I'll text him for He's you. He's best friends, obviously. Yeah, we're, we're buddies. Have you had him on the podcast? Uh, no, just because we don't like to exploit people. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So Except for what, you. what was that moment? Like when he looks at you and he goes, yes, you I, know, I kind of like blacked out. I don't remember any of it. To really? be, well, I remember it because I've seen so many videos of it <laughs> yeah. since then. Um, but I, I was, I had, there was no process time during it. That's like I can't, I like, I don't remember looking into his eyes <laughs> from across the, from across the pit essentially, but it was, it was great. I just knew I was like, I, I knew I was on the jumbotron and I knew that, People were probably going to make TikToks about it the next day. Oh yeah! So I was like, just act cool. <laughs> make sure that you look like vibey and relatively mm. nonchalant for when this video comes out tomorrow. So people as are much like, as you can holding How? a sign that says "Daddy?" Question mark. <laughs> He's like holding Daddy's. Like, okay, just look cool. <laughs> just like, look. act like you're not trying hard. You're not trying <laughs> hard. <laughs> I guess With, I could just show this. Yeah. <laughs> right. And but I mean, you know, it's a pretty, it's a simple sign. I didn't add too many frills. There was no mm-hmm. glitter. Oh, um, end of the sentence. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was thinking of maybe continuing it, but I didn't have anywhere to go. You don't. You're not obligated to talk here if you don't want to. We're not going to force you to do anything. I can stop right now. You can no, stop. Right, yeah, no, we don't please care. don't, Jared. Let I him, care, dude. Jared, I'm so sorry about him. Um, uh, what What do you think it is about Harry? Can you kind of just encapsulate him on, on why so many loins are just on fire when they're around him? So many loins. Yeah, just I, I, um, I guess impeding sexual urge towards one man. I mean, sure. he's on stage. There's a billion people in the crowd, but all of them have Full a little billion. inkling of like, he, want he could want me, and I want him. You know, I think it's because he's like, even though there's so much content out yeah. about him, he's like relatively unreachable still. Like we don't hear from Harry very often. Okay, so it's very easy to create your own idea of who he is. Good so point. you can idealize him, and you can say, well, he would fill this scene, and he would do this and this and this, because we don't really know that much about him. Like even though we followed him for so many years of his life, yeah. As with all of these superstars, the more famous they get, the less we actually hear from them. So you're able to 
should just be like, he is this perfect person who I can fill in all of these blanks that have not been filled in because he's not sharing. He's not posting on TikTok. He's not like throwing up an Instagram story and doing all of that. All we get from him most days is a photo of the recap of the show from the night before. Yeah. And then occasionally, and then we see TikToks about what he said to a sign. And he's mm-hmm. funny, but he's still like, he's not really letting us in mm-hmm. he's yeah. a master edger much, a right? master edger you, you'd already texted me this obviously before but i was wondering if you could tell the everyone what what was your dream um one direction threesome okay well b- it, pre um all of the things that happened with liam he was in in it for sure it would be like a harry liam zane moment wait that's a foursome that's you a foursome. yeah you're taking more okay than was given. It, it, so it's definitely harry and zane for why, sure. Can you okay, explain that why? Adds up. Um, they're they were both the most. Uh, they're both the most appealing to me. Like in a musical sense, or like physical attraction sense. Actually, I guess both. Okay. Like I, I do love both of their solo songs now that mm-hmm. they've come out with music since, and I think they're both very attractive men. Okay, I like Harry with his like his current hairstyle. When he had the long hair, it was a lot. It was different. Something it was to pull different. On. Right. Yeah. I, I don't need Some to, to pull on. I can pull on other things. Okay. Like what? Like <laughs> his uh, arms. Yeah. His arms. His arms. Pull oh, yeah. on the arms. So here's a little his ro- shoulders. Here's a little role play here. You just sat down. Th- we're at a little bar situation. We're at a little bar. Um, I'm Harry Styles. I just sat next to you. you and you. Okay. All right. Watch your, watch your mouth. Um, okay. It, just, it feels it's like gonna be, you looked at me as if. I mean, it'll be tough to imagine. No, that, no, but. I understand. <laughs> um, so so kind of just wow me. It's just us in a bar. Like, this is your one opportunity. I'm just kind of, you know, I'm going about my day. Maybe I'm on my phone. Fuck. <laughs> um, so okay, I need to wow you? Yeah, he's Harry it's, freaking Styles. Like, right? I don't, if I saw Harry at a bar, I don't think I would go up to him. No You're sitting way. next to him. I'm sitting next to him? Yeah, Why like, am I he, sitting? he comes up and sits next to you at the open seat. Okay, uh, why are we both alone at this bar? Ah, he's just going through it. Yeah. Hey, mate. How's it How's it going? It's good. Just uh, you know, a long day on... I can't do the British accent the whole time. Can uh, you try? Long. And also, mate, isn't that Australian? Um, who knows? Right. All right, let me get back in the character. Okay, sit, right, I'm going to sit back down. Okay. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> uh, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just, uh, just got off work and came here for a point. What about yourself? <laughs> did you Do you have a show tonight? Was, oh, was you know who I am. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is, See, I wouldn't, let, okay. I wouldn't let on okay. that you know right. who right. he is okay. immediately. Rewind. Are you stroking you mind the hair we, you don't do have? You mind <laughs> if we start over? Yeah, of course, of okay. course. I'm going right. to get up and then come sit back down, <laughs> sir. <laughs> okay. You come. This British accent is really good, by the way. Has anyone ever told you that? They've told me exact opposite, actually. Wow. Yeah. They're lying. Um. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm just uh, off work, you know. Want to put the memories away with a couple of booze. What about yourself? Same. Same. All right. Well, have a good night. <laughs> have a good night. Do you, what do you, what are you oh, doing he's still talking. later? <laughs> he's still t- um, <laughs> uh, probably just going home, you know, popping a Shrek two, maybe Ooh, Shrek two. Yeah. Is that your favorite movie? It's not my favorite, but uh, something I could fall asleep to. Something do you happy. Fall, do you fall asleep to it often? Um, Shrek one. Yeah. Shrek two is actually new on the gambit. What if we had sex? All right, let me think about it. Um, I have been very sexually ambiguous over the years. That's what we've heard. I'll try it. Yeah, great. Are you top or bottom? I'm um, a bottom. Yeah, are you a power bottom or just a normal? Uh, I can bring the power. Okay, so you put your cock in me? Yeah. No, that's not what that means. Oh, what's a power bottom? Like someone who just like <laughs> rides it, you know? From the bottom? Well, yeah, like, okay, anyone who's, if you're a bottom, you okay. are taking it up the ass. Oh, I, I thought a power bottom was maybe you were down there still on the bottom, but you were giving it up. No, no, no. It doesn't actually matter like where positionally. Oh, a bottom you just are. means you get the wiener in you. Yeah, a bottom yeah, yeah, just yeah. means you I are being my penetrated. Yeah, of course. Great. Wow, you learn something new every day. Cool. <laughs> Wait, you didn't know that? Did you have I AIDS? didn't. No. Yeah. What did what? you just what say? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> really? All right. <laughs> <Who was that? laughs> Can we roll that back? <laughs> I said, "Do you have AIDS?" And he goes, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. They've got pills for it now. Did I say that? I didn't say you that. Said, yeah, immediately. <laughs> no, I said what? No, I was talking to him. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> seem like that in the edit. It'll seem like. <laughs> anyway, um, Harry Styles off. You sealed the deal. Good job. Okay. Immediately. I didn't think. I got it. Oh, I got it. He yeah. said yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, I think it you was were, the hair. You were yeah, forward I was, with it. Markel does the same thing when he, he does. doesn't have hair. And then he'll always do this. He'll like. 
when he was on. Actually, he did have fake hair. Well, on. yeah, he had. But the time before, yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't. I, I'm not usually doing anything with like my hair, but um, th with this cord, it just feels like something new is coursing through me. Gotcha. Um, what else should we move on to? Oh, um, sucking. Uh, the parasitic nature of you and and Megan Trainer. <laughs> oh, okay, right. Who's sucking right. off who? Not in like a sexual sense, obviously, but um, in a clout sense. I guess uh, it's both at the same time. So it's a mutual. Yeah, we're verse. Oh, we're, that's oh, great. There you go. So, How long? So verse is you do you do both. Top okay. is always p penetrating, no matter gotcha. where you are. No matter if your legs are up or if you're on, if you're riding. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Were you nervous for your first time having? A foreign yes. object. What can can we kind of maybe talk about the? Because I mean, we have listeners who might not have their. Have you ever put anything up there? I haven't. Is it just terrifying? So uh, the first people have different experiences, right? Mm -hmm. The first time something entered me, and it was well, the first time like it was a person. It felt like a. Oh, I don't want to scare people. Yeah, but yeah. It, <laughs> but be no, honest. But no. But know. well, I'll go through actually the whole. This is this is how. So this was a story. So it felt like it was this like this is how he lost his virginity. Yeah, it felt like it was like a, a dry baseball bat being shoved up my asshole. It was not a fun experience. All right, let's cut to a clip. So, <laughs> so then, then I. But I knew, as I said earlier, I was like, but I'm destined to. This is my destiny. Okay, yeah. I'm not going. I, I even said to a friend once. I was like, I. I, I just, it hurts, but like, that's what I need to do. They were like, you can be a top. I was like, I, I'm not, I can't. Yeah. It's, it's not just not in your nature. So I bought, so my friend and I had a night in New York and okay. I bought a, I've said so many words. So that's at this fine. point, I Listen. bought a dildo, right? Okay. I bought one wow. of those. I was, it was, I was under some substances at the time. This was a long time ago. I want to oh, say like seven we'll get years into sobriety ago. later. Yeah. We'll get into that. This was like seven years ago. I bought one. It was a size small, but it was nine inches and in thick. So that's what these these that's sex so, shops that's, that's are. That's so small. Uh, yeah. What is that like? Like you seen? Have you seen some of those in real life? I have. In like fact. no way. Um. Yeah. 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 Okay. What? Well, okay. Keep right. talking. Okay. We'll get, anyway, that's terrifying. So I bought one of those, and then I go back to boarding school. I bring it back <laughs> with me, and I, for ever like weekly. Almost every night, I would take it into the stall with me, interesting, and just, just literally sit down. You're doing this it. in the stall. This is in a at stall at a, at a boarding school in the dorms, and I would just sit and I would wait until it was no longer unbearably painful. And then the next time it happened, and I had, a, and it was an actual person. Uh -huh. It was great because honestly, doing it alone removed all the pressure of needing it to be good with someone else. Like I, what, it didn't have to perform and be like, "This is I'm ready to, mm. I'm ready to do it." And then you do you. it. You would just keep it in throughout the day. No, no. no. I, <laughs> I, I, do you have one in now? No. No. Okay, you took it out before the show. No, that's I, why you went to the bathroom. I, <laughs> I, I don't do that anymore because it's now stretched out enough where it's almost too loose. No, it's oh. just fine. It just doesn't hurt. Yeah, yeah. When it's going in right away. Do you call it your bussy? I don't call it that usually. Okay. But I've said it. I've said that word before because it's like kind of funny, but in like in a sexual setting. Yeah. I'm not. In a sexual setting, like what <laughs> is your like, dirty talk maybe? <laughs> you and Harry are back home. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. I guess I, I'm here, not. Here comes the weenie. Right. Yeah. Is yeah. this what you guys talk about on this podcast? Then or over is this to like you. rare? Is this like a different... Uh, <laughs> It's we kind of we recently we told we don't get ads because of how we talk in the podcast. Okay, yeah, because I can't, like, after I talk about the dildo story, I can't imagine, like, audible.com is the perfect. Do we have an ad this week? <laughs> no. You're good. <laughs> oh, okay. You're golden. Anyway. This is more interesting to me. Yeah, so uh, I, I'm not, there aren't too many crazy words coming out of me. I've said, I, I'll admit it, I've said, I've. Uh, I've said daddy in bed before. I don't think that's, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, you I've threw said, it on a oh. sign. No one was like, that guy probably doesn't do it in the bedroom, you know? Right. So if, uh, so sure. If So you're submissive. Yes. Okay. And that's, that's great. I think uh, people need to own their truth in that. I think it's cause like, I, I feel like I have a relative handle on my life during the, uh -huh. in the, in, like, that's interesting. They say they, they've, what? <laughs> I just, I like always nervous about where you're going to go. No, it's just, no, I finish saying anything. Zach, you do an A plus <laughs> job of making our guests uncomfortable. Like, that's interesting. And like there's 10 million things you could no, say. No, no, right there's, there's a stereotype about very powerful CEO type women that they also like, like when they get in the bedroom, that's their time to kind of. Yeah. 
I think that's me. I'm a very powerful CEO woman mm-hmm. who's ready to let go in the bedroom. <laughs> okay. And then when was that's the last That's on my dating app. When was the last time um you filled the buns? A few days ago. How was it? Is this uh, someone you're continuing to see or is this a grinder situation where it's like what, someone I'm continuing to see? Oh my gosh. Oh. You want to name drop him? Well, no, it's like we, we've been on four dates perhaps. So it's gotcha. not like it's not like uh, it's not like anything we crazy. Are, we're deep but, into it, but it's also not a grinder sitch. He's um, not deep into it. Does that make you does that make you sad? No, I mean he was deep, I guess, yeah. deep into it. After the first date, did you guys consummate? We did hook up on the first date. Okay. Which I try. I sometimes no, I, of course. I was in my era of like I don't do that. But uh-huh. then uh for the first time we hung out, he was like, Do you want to just come over and we can like get food or we can just order food or something? And I was like, sure. And I wasn't thinking anything was gonna happen. Yeah. Did you douche? <laughs> Zach. What, dude? I did. Okay, then. Then you were. Expe- <laughs> oh, you were expecting <laughs> something. Then you were expecting then. something. All right. <laughs> don't lie to us. <laughs> don't think these straight guys are out here not knowing what's going on. I guess I was just like, listen, no, I wasn't expecting it. But it was a just but, in uh, case. But it was just in case. Okay. I, you got to be prepared. Yeah. Because I didn't want to. I, di- I if you know. I. You I, didn't want to amber hurt him. Mm-hmm. Oh God. <laughs> what? I'm sweating so much. Why? You're not having a good time? No, I I'm having a really great time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Really fun. I'm just, I, okay. So I'm this new guy's nervous. name is over to you. A name. We're not ready. I'm not a ready name. to drop it after. He's Arabic. Uh, no, no. He's, uh, oh, okay. He, he, uh, just, I haven't said his name yet. Okay. You should put it out there. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. We don't want to break Ian's heart. Let's keep moving. No. On. And so <laughs> that happened a very long time ago. And also I just think, but based on that last, the way the last relationship yeah. went, I'm keep gonna it keep, offline. I'm going to keep it offline. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's smart. Yeah. Good to know. You would get that. Yeah, I would get that. I don't know why, but what is dating like <laughs> in LA? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, 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 do, I haven't done it too often Okay, because it's just, I, one, it is like most of the experiences I've had here are not very great. Like, yeah, no, it's it's like I hate dating. Like no one communicates and people like ghost you. And those people who say that are, do the exact same thing. Yeah. Can, um, can I bring up a stereotype possibly really quick and we can kind of just put this to bed or maybe we can give it some legs. A lot of guys say that, you know, girls are more, I mean, sorry, a lot of people say that guys are more sexually like seeking out than girls. Okay. So would you say it's easier in mm. your community that I'm an ally of obviously um, <laughs> to, you know, get physical rather uh, than, yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. I mean like grinder wouldn't, does like there's a reason it doesn't really exist with like straight relationships. Yeah. Um, like, cause uh, that's probably in their terms and conditions, but <laughs> like oh, it's the, straight relationships. Yeah, I don't think straight can go on there. Right. No. Well, actually I did see a TikTok recently about a girl who's on it because she's like, there are bi guys on there and I get all the attention from them. And I was like, interesting, a businesswoman innovator. He's thinking, right. but I think so. Yeah. I think it's like, um, it y- like, Got gay guys specifically are pretty inherently sexual, and it, there's also a thing about like not having been able to experience your regular like high school exploring your sexuality thing yeah. for a lot of them because they just couldn't, and so now it's like you're mi- using, you're you're like making up on lost time, so everyone's really sexual. Did you come out in high school? I came out at the like in eighth grade. Wow, oh, hell yes. yeah, early. I came out like middle you school care. very early. You're out there, you're a trailblazer. Well, it was just very obvious, I think, but I was at an all boys school and it was fine oh until high school started. And then I had to leave that all boys school halfway through freshman year because it, people were, they weren't allies like you two in the room. <laughs> well, Jared's not. Would you say it was an abomination or something? No, that oh, was your No, words. no, no. This was Jared. Said, I heard you saying that to yourself in the mirror earlier. No, no, this no. no. Jared, Jared said, say hi to the devil for me when you die. I don't know what it means. Okay. But apparently it doesn't think to you're you or to me or, to or, or about me, about you, yeah. about me. And I was like, Jared, stop. Were you guys texting about this too? Is there? No, no we were pretty verbal. Things. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We it's were shouting it <laughs> at I, each other. I would say, I would say gays are pretty sexual Good. By, by nature. It just kind of happened. But I, I, I think I got, I experienced a lot of that in like high school and college and now I'm like less so. Yeah, you're, not, you're, you're business oriented. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not thinking too much about the, the, I'm not, I'm not just trying to like hook up with someone. Exactly. It also is never a great experience to meet or sometimes I'm sure people have had great experiences meeting up How with your guys. your basis is cancel culture. Grinder, right. I'm sure people have had amazing experiences and there are probably marriages that have happened from Grinder. Yeah. But um, most of the experience I've had on there and I haven't been able to really experience them recently because I just like don't know like I don't want I don't want someone like showing up and someone mm-hmm. being like I love your work. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say they're... like, what is that like to date or like try to you know 
in that culture like hook up with somebody that's like super familiar with who you are? Cause yeah. you, you said you can't go to pride parade because you'd pretty much be the show. Did I say that? Yeah. When you texted. <laughs> <laughs> this was a voice memo also. I don't remember. Yeah. I think uh, you created it into a meme. Right. And you sent it to me. It Just was a, like your shirt. Right? Well, this isn't a meme. This is a lifestyle. Okay. A daddy <laughs> lifestyle. How long have you been wearing that? A couple days. And you haven't taken it off right? No, I like to look in the mirror and then get myself off as I look into your eyes. That's only when I'm pretending to be hairy. Uh, and you? Huh? <laughs> Did you just this? put that on today? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Great, great. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So this different... is not a lifestyle for me. Got I'm it. sorry. I, okay. I can't be a part of the daddy lifestyle. That's okay. Um, it's not for It's not for me. Do <laughs> either of you, would either of you be accepted calling, be, being called daddy in the bedroom? Yeah, I've been called daddy. I believe I en- it. I enjoyed it. Just once? Well, I, I, I usually say I prefer father. And you? Do you want to try? <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, uh, I personally, like, I don't think, actually, no, I think I've been called it once and it felt very weird. Cause he's like, like, he's only I'm had not- two mommies, so he doesn't know what it is. He's like, <laughs> what's that foreign word? <laughs> okay. I, Cause I'm like, I'm not um, like submissive. I'm not like totally dominant, you know, in the bedroom. Just and a lover. So- just a, yeah, just a lover, you know. I'm just trying to have a good time. Yeah, and mm. so daddy feels like a very if someone's calling you daddy, that feels mm. like you are definitely the dominant force in the bedroom. Totally. And so I'm like, that's not that's not me. Totally. Yeah. And so you would say you're more dominant. Yeah, I like when people are like, "Yes, stepdad, beat it out of me." <laughs> yeah, yeah. You drink a lot, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> keep going. Yeah, keep. Yeah, slap me, stepdad. Yeah, mm-hmm. make. Yeah, put. Yep. Abu- hurt. Leave bruises on me. Make me wear a big hoodie to school, stepdad. That way they don't see the bruises on me at school, da- stepdad. Is this coming from personal experience? Okay, so Megan Trainer, you guys, they, they just went every ad we'll ever get in the future. <laughs> that, that was really, that was beautiful to listen to. It felt like slam poetry. <laughs> Thank you. Do you think you can hit the woe to it on TikTok later if I make it into a sound? I've never actually hit the woe on TikTok. Okay. That's not my niche. Oh, what, what's say. your niche? I guess there's multiple. It's uh, holding up a daddy sign. It's Megan. It's croc heels. It's holding onto a pole as long as I can. Um, what? What? <laughs> it's Chuck. It's <laughs> holding. Uh, up. It's th- there. Oh no! But you've you you know the video I'm talking about, right? No, Ooh, that's pretentious. Isn't okay. It? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No. I, I have. You jump on a pole and you hold. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. So you do know. Yeah, I know. But you, um, you assumed I did, so I got a well, little turned off. Okay, so were you turned on before? Why do you keep putting your mouth on the mic? Are you turned on? <laughs> <laughs> well, we heard recently that you're on a friend's podcast and you fit an entire mic into your mouth. I've done that. Uh, yeah, I've done that a few times. It was but quite this is, impressive. This is like, this is just me- like, you guys can't change these out. I would be a little nervous to put my entire mouth on this thing. Jared does every we can, episode. We can rub like some Clorox. Jared, on you don't have something. to coax them into it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jared's like, wait, no, we can, we can do whatever. Just, is, well, no. Well, is just, that why you brought it up? I don't know why I brought it up. Well, would you guys be able to do it? Have you ever tried? Uh, no, I, I have tried, and my mouth is. Um, too small. Well, I had to have tongue, that's okay. I'd have tongue surgery as a child um, because I couldn't stick my tongue in my mouth. And that little string was a little too far up and they had to cut it. Wait, you couldn't stick your tongue uh-uh. in your mouth? I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can never live your lifestyle with all that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, my lifestyle. That would be tough to deal with for sure. Of but course. it seems like you got the issue fixed. Yeah. You can I, stick your tongue out of your mouth now. Are you asking or do you need a demonstration? Demonstrate. Oh, oh yeah. Always demonstrate. I'm busy right now. Okay. Um, did you see yourself being in the entertainment world or this like sort of content creator or did you have other aspirations and just kind of like fell into this? Yeah. I was like going to school to be an actor, like theater camp and then yeah. theater boarding school. And then college, I was majoring in musical theater. So I was like, I, this is what I'm going to move to New York. Broadway dreams. Yes. Okay. Move to New York, be on Broadway, but then COVID shut down everything halfway through the halfway through my junior year. So I just oh. downloaded TikTok and I was like, let me just like see what's going on on this little clock app. <laughs> and then I ended up working out. And but, I mean, I'm really happy with it because I feel like it's it's still a very creative oh, way to yeah, go. You but, can I mean, do anything. What, yeah. What does your family think of this online success? They think it's great. My dad like tracks my videos. He's like, Man, that one didn't do too well today. I did it. And I'm Love like, it. dad, please stop. <laughs> please don't text me. Or oh. if it's going well, he's <laughs> like, <laughs> he will. Yeah, dad. Just dad. I, I actually, we haven't talked about that moment. I don't think I'm going to bring it up to him. 
Is he, um, cause you know, dads get be a little hard when right. their son comes out. Was it, how was, was that hard for him? No, he was great. And because That's great. His, really? his sister, my aunt is yeah. the gay member of the family. So I always told her and they're all from South Carolina. So I was like, I think you just like broke in that side of the family before I arrived because Good. she came out before. Kinda like you in the born. stall, breaking it in, breaking it in. <laughs> I love that for Just you. sitting on it. Comes full circle. Yeah. It does come full circle. It does. It always does. Um, nine million followers. Nine million. How much? So, as of yesterday. So, well, oh. I guess not yesterday because this is airing a f as of a few days ago. So you kind of feel, actually, this, this will come, come out, out tomorrow. <laughs> as um, of two something days ago. Do you feel like you're better than everyone else now? No. Why? Because I, I, that's never my mindset. I never feel, I never feel that. I don't. <laughs> Zach, <laughs> such an instigator. I, I don't, that's never, I'm, in fact, most, I feel like most of my, um, most of what I talk about is that how. I, I would too, if I liked the money that much. Keep going. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. um, what, was your, what was your biggest brand deal, by the way? One of my favorites was Tinder. I and how much money was that? Tinder. It was, there was, my, it, it, they paid me. Yeah. For sure. Definitely. How, like, <laughs> I, I, I can't remember. Have you gotten a six figure brand deal? I, I don't know. I can't wow, remember. He's doing well. <laughs> he is doing well. <laughs> and now that you're breaking a little bit into the mainstream culture, I mean, the money's just going to be falling. How much money could you, so could you Venmo me right now where you just wouldn't even think about it? <laughs> <laughs> like, probably 10 grand. And you'd probably be like, whatever. Keeps, right? I, no, I would definitely, I wouldn't do that for sure. I got to be, I, I I don't have that. Because I know the analytics of what people make on okay, TikTok and you are right. so brand yep. friendly. It's fine. Um, no, I, th yeah, I've, I've been able to. Do you make more, more money than Megan? Definitely not. Good. Okay. So now we've got a barometer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, absolutely not. Okay. And how much money does she make a year? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> we well, you have her number, right? Do you want to It's okay. We don't need to. Net worth. Net worth. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's so cool that she married the Spy Kids kid. He's great. He's 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 amazing. We we wanted to get them on the podcast. Now, but how accurate thing. is this? This says celebritynetworth.com, Megan Trainer 14 million. Seems a little low, huh? I don't know. I I don't have a good I don't <laughs> You've seen her house. I have. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. First of all, what is a net worth? Every time you look that up, it's like that's how many assets you own or something like that. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's, it's pretty much everything, right? It's like how many assets, how like how much liquid cash do they have, you know? And so they calculate that based on like, I guess in, you know, Megan's terms, it would be like record sales and stuff like okay, that. Streaming yeah, numbers. for sure. Um, for sure. So like, I'm sure that's some like a yeah, number she's all about the base no trouble yeah she's yeah. she's doing great she's an icon she's uh she's a star um yeah i'm i'm really glad i did come to this podcast alone that would be um it i would be nervous for her to be here oh trust <laughs> me, we'll get her on one day and we'll we'll, no. run, we'll run her through the ringer i believe it she deserves it get i feel like she could take it she totally can yeah. she'll throw it right back get her and spy kid both on together i i want to can you uh, affiliate that? Yeah. Okay. I feel like you have a little crush on him. Uh, no, it was just, I think that was like the first movie I ever saw in theaters. Okay. So it was like a big deal for One, me. One, two, or three? One. One. Yeah. Okay. It was a big, I mean, I had I had a Spy Kids birthday party. Sure. Yeah. Oh. It, was, it was a big deal for me. And Die you know, fan. I know his wife sings and has record deals. She does. It'd be great to have her as well, but I probably would drill him with questions the entire time. Kind of like you've been drilled in your life with... With questions. What? With what? What questions? interview questions because you're so famous. Right. That's um, <laughs> who is your favorite famous person you've ever met outside of the Harry and the Megans? Probably Austin Butler. Uh, oh, when I met him yeah. for uh, like literally maybe a minute total. Where'd you meet him? Um, at the Cannes Film Festival after the Elvis premiere. Oh, wow. Gave him a coffee. So I got to, I, I met him, but he was, he was really nice and he just has a very like calm energy yeah. and that really deep voice. Do you get a little nervous now that your videos are almost one upping themselves? Like you couldn't give a coffee to your dad anymore. I feel like, and people would be like, ah, like yeah, you right. already gave it to Austin. Like that's pretty sick. I am kind of like, if, if I ever were to and like, you give it to a, the vice president, right? I did. I feel like if I ever were to deliver it to like Harry, I would have to be done. Yeah. Like, I don't know where I would really go from there because it, I feel like the way it's evolved has been just like, whoa, and then another one and then another one. And this is like going crazy. And it's, it's been leveling up a little bit. And so, cause there have been um, p times people have DM'd me to like do a coffee delivery to them. And, and I, you're like, I haven't not responded. Important enough. Yeah. Of I, course. I, I just, it, well, one, 
they really do take a lot of effort. I literally have to like fly somewhere for mm -hmm. it. And <laughs> usually it's First all, class. well, some, it, so, I mean, <laughs> usually it's always a, trip that like, oh, I'm already going to New York for this mm -hmm. and someone's in New York. So let me, cause people are like, I can't believe you fly there just to do this coffee. Like that's horrible. You're crazy. But I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I have never actually just flown somewhere with a coffee. I'm sorry if that destroys the bit, but also like, I mean, come on guys. Like I'm like, not, let's be realistic about this. I'm not, know? I'm not just flying. So anyway, I, they do take a lot of effort. So if someone asks me to do it with them, I, it really has to be kind of like worth it to, yeah. To want to do that. Um, you look so upset. Well, I think I need to bring something up. You've I, never um, delivered a coffee to him. But he's never asked. No, no, I don't even drink coffee. He does not anything coffee. about that. You don't? No. Ever? Um, do you? Oh, I don't ca I don't drink alcohol, caffeine, anything. I just, I'm a, I'm a big water guy. Water um, and lemonade. The elixir of life. I know. Lemonade. I know. I'm really doing it. Sweet lemonade or like uh, tart. Like let's, a, let's save our um, pet names for later. Um, okay. <laughs> One time in a video years ago before you know you ever did your coffee run i remember i traveled across the country and i brought a pickle to my best friend oh, oh yeah now i can never do it again you can no people you are can. like you're gonna you're stealing chris's bit huh how am i supposed to get past that well you totally can no you, you do whatever you want will, I, you, will you come with me? and it would be a pickle that's so yeah, different that's, than coffee i'll come with you oh we need to oh i forgot we texted we gotta start our internet beef do, we actually did talk about that. Yeah. That's real. Okay. That's, That's real. real I'm now realizing like, oh, we really did. Yeah. But what did you say? You said something like horrible, right? Didn't you say something pretty <laughs> wild? I don't, yeah. Pull well, the that would be up Zach's alley. So. Yeah, it was definitely something that I, I was- And I haven't stretched that alley, so. Yo, know, you just gained another thousand followers. When I clicked on your page, it went from 58 to 59. Things are going well. Yeah. <laughs> they knew you were coming on. Oh, you said, I'm going to say you're gay for clout. And I already did. <laughs> and, that was your, and that was his first that was, line. That was the consistent. first sentence of this podcast. And that was like a month ago. Yeah. And then you were supposed to catch me out with a woman. And then we were going to get on a big fight here. Just pretend you didn't hear that. Okay. We still do it. I got to pump my numbers up. Is there anyone Megan trainer adjacent that I should go after? Do you think we'd make a good duo? Oh, a good duo. Because like you've got, you've got Megan locked down and I don't, I don't want, I'm not impeding. Yeah, but. You grew up with Megan, right? That's a lie. So, no, it's a lie. Of course it is. Come it's, on. <laughs> it's a lie. But we have since said that. Like, oh, I think okay. we, we said that. Same pretty. thing. He used to have a sister online. Not his sister. Just a cute kid that got clout. Let's keep going, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I don't know. You're a liar. Anyway, keep going. I, <laughs> I have, well, but I am not lying about being gay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we wouldn't have had you on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's This is a straight true. podcast. Right. I can tell. Oh, Zach's out. Okay. Right. He's oh. done. Um, he I can't handle it. I don't know. I, would, I'm not out. He is. <laughs> right. Would you want to work? Who Who would you want to work with? This is what I'm asking you. I need to, I need to, I'm too close to the situation. Like pull out, see, see what's, would work well. Um, Anybody that comes to mind? I think a few. Okay. I, well. I'm going to go through, I already have Megan's like Spotify open up. We're going to go through the fans also like. Uh, yeah. Like, oh my God. Bring that up. No, yeah. Cause I think I, I need a girl counterpart. Multiple girl counterparts. Fifth Harmony. You can yeah. Be, like, oh my God. Little... What if you worked with Camila? Who's Camila? Are you kidding? Camila Cabello? Oh, oh yeah. She was part of Fifth Harmony. Wasn't she? Yeah. Isn't she like busy being in a fake relationship or something? No. no they broke they up. Just, yeah. They broke up. Oh. It was tragic. For who? Probably them. A lot of people. Okay, I'm sorry. I've seen them once. I saw them once in New York. We didn't say anything. I just saw them walk. Somebody told me once oh. I look like the curb stomped version of um, Sean Mendes. Kind of. He's like, I could see kind it. Of. Yeah. Maybe if they like bash your head in a little more. No, but yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't a good compliment. They're like, oh, was, well, curb but, stomped was, I think, the legitimate okay. term. Well, um, okay, keep I going. Don't know. I, well, no, but, but then you wouldn't have a nose like you do. Do I have a good nose or is it a little big? It's like a, it's a great, it's a good size. Okay. For sure. What about, or, or Normani? Who's oh, Norma what about they, Haley Steinfeld? Haley Steinfeld. Actually, I, I yeah, she's a great one. You were about to, you say, were about to say some shit. You're about to do a video. <laughs> Hold on. on. <laughs> I, I, How are you going to take my girl after already you having just, one? You just, you, I, because the, the I don't know. I'm sorry. I won't take her. Seems like you're going to meet up with her soon. Based on <laughs> I, no, I mean, it's just, no. Have you talked to her? I haven't. No. So it's fine. Who's setting it up? I don't know. Do you do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. This is what I think about Haley Steinfeld. I think. She's beautiful. Of course. Gorgeous. Wow. Right. Okay. Hey, Jared. 
pipe down, right? Sorry. What's up with that? Sorry. She is really, um, she's, she's gorgeous. This is, this is how I foresee it. I don't know her, so I don't want to be creepy, but I think we start off on a very comedic basis. We're making videos. She's got a movie to promote. Bing, bong, boom. Oh, we're having such a good time. You want to go out for fried chicken? I don't really eat that because I'm on, I'm on keto something. I just assume she's a superhero diet. Well, if you're on that, you can't eat fried chicken and it's. Okay. And why like, do you suggest fried chicken? Because I like it. And I'll be like, wait, what about just this once? And she's like, okay, maybe for you. And then we sneak out, we eat the fried chicken. Um, she looks into my eyes and she's like, I think we could be something. And I, and I go, this is just transactional on a following count. And then I go home and I think about it for hours and I'm like, wait, maybe, you know, I should be giving this girl a chance. Why am I not? And then I come back and I'm like, I want to be in your life more than just a video partner. And then I propose immediately. It's like, what's the point of waiting? And then you can officiate the wedding. That was quite the movie you just laid out. Okay. Are you in? To of- officiate the wedding? Yeah. Uh, sure. If sure. I ever get married to Haley Steinfeld, you uh, you agree to officiate the wedding? Sure. I would prefer a yes, but Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a strong. Anyway, let's, sure. get, let's get okay, back to you. Well, uh, okay, okay, sure. This isn't about me. I don't know. People on the show don't even like me. Yes, they do. Yeah. So, <laughs> he just wanted to hear. See, he, he tricks you into stroking his ego. That Speaking is of stroking, crazy. yep, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Right. What? You got any other artists for him? Oh, uh, Jesse J. Hell, we're over it. Jesse J. I don't know who Jesse J is. What? what? What about, what if, okay, she would never because she's too big of a star, but you could do, you could do great stuff with like Ariana Grande. Oh. You think? That would be so fun. That you would guys be a lot would, of fun. You guys would have good banter. Isn't she? Um, She's married, so there's no going any farther. There's no romantic, I, and I, there doesn't need to be. No, okay. I don't think that. When did she get married? I, she got married like last year, or two two years ago, like during the pandemic. We need to have like a segment every week, this ten minutes, where we just phone into him for pop culture. I'm so down. She's like, oh, that would, that would be great. Can I actually. do it from anywhere too? You like, I'll just answer oh, yeah, yeah. Time while driving or something yeah. like that. Hundred yeah. yeah. percent. Um, you, where were you born? I was born in Washington D.C. Oh. Where were you born? Uh, I was born in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh. And then I moved to South Georgia for okay. a lot of my life. Very different places than I, I grew up in DC. And then I went to Massachusetts for boarding school slash, slash college. And Why didn't your parents love you? Why did they send you to the boarding school? There was a lot of turmoil at home. And also I was getting bullied at school for being gay. So I went to boarding school where everyone was gay. What was what mm. were some of the, the bullying tropes? Like what would people say? Like you gay, gay guy? <laughs> um, no, <laughs> not, no, not by actual, not by actual. I would frequently, so I, I, one time I like got Doc Martens when, but like right before that was really a big thing. Is that a gay and shoe? I, I don't think so anymore, but Back this, in the was, day. this was before it was the huge craze. Okay. I just saw them in an Urban Outfitters and was like, those look cool. And I bought them. So I started the trend essentially. <laughs> um, and then I wore them to school and everyone said I was wearing heels. And I, so I asked, which is like, really? docs it's, are nothing. Yeah. They're nothing. They're also just boots, you know? Like, yeah. So any- I was just really embarrassed and like didn't want to stay at school that day. So it was just like these little tiny things that would, uh, but there was, I remember I was really upset about it like halfway through the day. And then this, I had a substitute teacher in one of the classes and he was like an old guy and he was like, I love your docs. And I was like, Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I've had a really hard time with them all day. You haven't um, worn them since. Yeah. And then one guy like hacked my uh, Facebook once and then posted uh, DMs of me and a girl talking about how I had hooked up with a guy. Oh so my it was God. Just, yeah, it was just people. Who was that guy? Uh, his name was also Chris. Um, and he sounds like he sucks. He was the worst. And I don't know how he got my password or anything. Or anything. Yeah. That's like, like my, my friend and I were trying to like, we're trying to figure it out. He said he just like saw me type just it in one typed day. Or in something Doc like that. Martens aren't gay. Right, right. <laughs> that was your yeah. That was the that was that was my password oh. after that moment happened. Um, but I and I didn't I like I I didn't tell any of the administration or anything about it because I was just like it's there's no there's no point in trying to get this. But then some of the girls ended up telling them, so he did get in trouble. Good, um, good, good, good. The girls yeah. had your back. They sure did. They That's why have. you need to be an ally for them. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So it was an all boys school, and then across the like across this lawn, it was the all girls school. Of so course, we yeah. were we would occasionally take classes together. Um, so I was friends with all the girls. But yeah, it eventually was just like not fun being around those guys. A lot of the argument would be like, well, some of them are probably gay, and they hadn't come out yet, and that still might be true. But still. No one I know from that time has come out, which is surprising. Statistically, we should get them all in a room, hold them at gunpoint, and see if any of them are actually gay. And w- if they are say they, no, what happens? Yeah, like are they hooked up to lie detectors? They have to say yes. They so have then they're to all say gay yes. for a day. Okay. 
You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. Well, I grew up in DC. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> to, to circle back, that's where I grew up. Oh, did you, okay. I'm an East Coast girl. LA is like a fun little, how did I end up here? But I'm here. It's an excursion. It is. Do you ever feel, cause you live in West Hollywood now. Yes. But I, I, and I yeah. Live. Do you, are you ever like, it was kind of, I don't know. I, I stood out a little bit more in other places. And, and now I, here I'm just, I'm one of the crowd. No, I would rather, I would be rather one be one, one of the crowd. crowd. Yeah. 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 Plus I'm, there's other ways I'm standing out. And like what? With this jacket. You're telling me gay people don't usually wear fun, bright colors? No, uh, no, they do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, there's no. I'm I'm uh, making fun videos on the internet occasionally. The yeah, the one that makes you a lot of money with that one huge brand deal. What was it? <laughs> oh, Tinder. How much was it? The, it was there. They okay, there okay, okay. Dollars. I'm gonna. They handed me a twenty. I'm gonna say a number. I'm not going to do this. <laughs> I am Just not. cough. I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. 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 Oh. You know what? We've. I feel like we've made you uncomfortable. We've. I've had a really good time. We've berated you. I'd say the same thing if I was still here. <laughs> I'd uh, we've berated you in ways that. But so now let's open up the floor to you. Is there anything you want to talk about that's on your mind? I don't even. I, <laughs> I don't even know where to go from. Feel here. free to go. We're definitely paying attention. I'm paying attention. I you believe can. no, and I trust yeah. you. Oops. And. Oh. Keep it down there. Yeah, say it slower. <laughs> yeah, I can be dominant sometimes. Yeah, there's in the my everyday life. It's just once I'm in a bedroom. Yeah. Any um, kinks? There's not a specific kink that I have. It's just uh, someone is like uh, I'm usually a submissive person. Love it. Okay, back to you. This is your point to take over the show. Pretend you have your own podcast for a second. Welcome back. What's your? What would your show name be? It would be like uh, not a doctor, and I would give people like advice that's not based in anything other than vibes. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. So Jared- I should start that. Jared, that that's J- Jared funny. recently- so Don't so, steal- No one steal that. That's copyrighted already. It's copyrighted. I did. I submitted that. Yeah. Um, yesterday. Jared recently was told to his face, you'd be more attractive if you were more confident. I was and told that to my really, face. Really? So. In, in a serious manner? Yes. Someone it, did. Yeah. It affected him. And that would could you guys everyone. maybe talk through this for a second? Okay. Here we oh go. Oh my God. Okay. Wait. So get, tell me the Ow. capacity in which- um, this was said to you. Uh, I think. Well, we were all at. We were all out to dinner, sitting around the table. Where were we? Yeah, where was dinner? We, we were out. We we're at Outback Steakhouse. Hell yeah, right. So okay, <laughs> and, that's an interesting start to yeah, the story. Exactly. And so we were all just going around, kind of talking, you know. And um, there is uh, uh, one of you know just talking about like, do we find each other attractive? Is it like a physical attraction? Is it a part like a an emotional mental attraction, whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one individual said to me that I would be more attractive just overall if I was more confident. Okay. Um, Which I get that I'm not the most confident person in the world. I don't walk into a room and be like, oh, I'm the shit. I own this. Was it just unprompted? uh, No, no. Zach definitely teed them up. for (laughs) He, As it seems like he would. Exactly. I feel like it was, I I was bringing positivity to the table though. Have you ever- Yes. Okay. Outside of this podcast, I'm a lovely human being. I. That's true. The from the one time. Yeah. When I met met. you, it's a hug. Oh, so I've heard such nice things about you. It's oh, you're such a nice person. Blah blah blah. And then on here, I got to entertain a little bit. Right. It was a stark difference. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We were we were Iron Man differently. All right. Go ahead. So okay, he teed it up. He teed it up, and he was like, he he said to this individual, he said, "Well, what do you think about Jared?" And then then that's what prompted their answer were we like going around the table we were going around the table discussing if we were attracted to each other or not yeah it oh. was it was a mixture of of girls and guys okay and so it's like we were giving reasons this is why i'm attracted to you or this is why i'm not attracted right to you. Mm-hmm. very we have very unhealthy dinners <laughs> right it, but it wasn't in the sense of like no it was just we're trying was to like time. figure out yeah. who to date out of the group or whatever it was just like a genuine yeah because it's like it's things that you don't see about it's like oh well, I've never thought about that. It's like, oh, this yeah. might be why people see it's because maybe you're not confident enough, you know? Has that been an insecurity of yours? Yeah. That specifically? 100%. Yeah. So the things that like hate comments that get to me the most are things that are already true for yeah. sure. That like I, I have already felt about myself. Like when I was in the past relationship. With who? <laughs> Zach. <laughs> uh, I would get comments a lot about being like, it looks like it looks like he doesn't even like you or like Ooh. it's like this Ooh. is going to end soon. And obviously that was a fear in the back of my head and those would hurt the most. If I got a homophobic com- comment, I wouldn't You're care. Like, because I've I'm got like, that all my life. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, Sorry, right. Jared. 
meant to right. use a burner account for those. Okay, <laughs> yeah, for sure. No, I would. I, I, those didn't touch me at all. But the ones that were like there was truth in them, that would that would get me the most. Yeah, um, because you feel like too seen. Exactly. In a way. You're like, oh, maybe I put too much of myself out there. Yeah. So I don't have. There's. There's honestly like. Um. I don't know what. It, I don't know what advice to give. It's, it's. It's. There's no really like advice needed with that. I think it's just like you gotta just take it to heart or like take it how you how you want to take it. It's like you can either you know continue down the path that like I've been going down with, um, being not as confident, or I could take that and be like, oh, maybe I should be a little more you know uh, sure of myself. Right. So. Yeah. Like I I think it's always about the manner in which it is said. Exactly. Like if if someone said that to you with being like, but I really like, but. Like if, if there was just one thing that you like got more confident in, like it would be so great or something like that. Yeah. It was not followed up by that, but no. yeah. yeah, exactly. And like these hate comments are not like you should, you need to like be with someone who looks like they really like you. It would just be like, you look like it, you're in a horrible relationship. And so when it's just Where left, like, <laughs> it's just like this ominous voice <laughs> from the left. You can call me God Are if you? you'd like. It's Okay. That's not the word that usually comes out of my mouth. It's Father? Daddy. Mm. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to wink I at you. you. <laughs> it just when well, you said daddy, then you winked at me. <laughs> it just happened. I got you. Um, I see why your legs are crossed. It's fine. <laughs> they've <laughs> been crossed this entire time. You're talking a little bit just because of your blood flow to your pelvis. All right, go my ahead. My brain. Um, I, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> mm, fluster. <laughs> yeah, high five to us. I, that was an high five. All right. I was shutting the door. Yeah. I was like putting up a, a wall. <laughs> like peekaboo. Yeah. No, it was, there was a wall up. I got you. So you're a Trump supporter. They, nope. <laughs> they should have followed it up with something inspirational. Yeah. Or just yeah. being like, but you, you're, you're so attractive in these other ways. You now, just like, you should just believe it. I'm That's taking what, it with a grain of salt just because of who this person is and how I know like how they are, you know? Yeah. Um, so like, I know even though they didn't follow it up with kind of like an affirmation or something that, uh, they did have a good enough attention, right, uh, intentions right. with it. So okay. sure. It's not like, I'm not like, Oh fuck this person. You know, I'm like, yes. I actually kind of took it to heart. I'm like, Oh, maybe I should be a little more confident, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But it does feel it's, it's the initial sting and you're out yeah, to dinner exactly. with friends. So you can't really show it. No, I know. And they're going to be listening to this. So and that's why we're covering our bases. Exactly. Huh? <laughs> oh, they're not going to listen to this. No, no, no. No chance. No chance. <laughs> Great. Yeah, he has enough girls from his past listening to these podcasts. Okay. That have caused trouble. <sighs> right. What? Uh oh. <laughs> Do you want to get into it? No, because that's what got me in trouble in the first place. Well, what about me? We, We've we, been grilling me this entire time. I well, I guess. Well, if I you guess care about you out of my life anyway. care about you afterwards. Right. Like, he's not going to listen to this. Uh, no, for sure. Okay. I, I always just, I, yeah, I just feel like people, yeah, people so like good. send things to people. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Things get, people shown. do text. We do text a lot. You and, oh, he just texted me. Yeah. What is, <laughs> what did he say? Said, yo, that fool's still there. I'm trying to slide. <laughs> and that is exactly the way he speaks too. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have you had a good time? I've th that, that's how we're that's how we wrap. Oh, like, um, yeah. uh, speaking of advice, if you want one-on-one -on -one advice, uh, join me on the Five app. This is not a sp I'm part of this company. This isn't a sponsor. We're trying to launch this this product where we talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, um, and it's in the description. And uh, sorry, I forgot to say that earlier. That was beautiful. Yeah, of course it was. That'd be a good place for you to start your your. Not a doctor, not, not you a know, doctor. advice. Um, he does not need money. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> we'll get you on that. Okay. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll uh, uh, have you had a good time? I, I, I apologize for certain things we've said. I, I'm sorry if we certain things you've said. I have never experienced anything like this, that, no. like a podcast like this. That's is either it, But is it great? usually boring, like, what do you want to do next in your life? Uh, this was really exciting. Okay, I'll be good. honest. I did really enjoy it. I had a really good time while I'm also really scared. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. <laughs> I am, I'm like trembling with fear and we'll be thinking about what I said on the drive home at some point. And that's why and we that's do why this. we do it. <laughs> We're um, changing the world through art. So based on Mr. B, since we were already ending it based on his thing, it's like we have to end it super fast because people yeah. are already clicking off anyway. Uh -huh. um, okay. So if you stay to the end, make sure to send me, um, your best, your favorite picture of Chris. Favorite video. Just do favorite video. No, I want pictures. Okay. Yeah. It's easier to, anyway. Okay. You for yourself, where can people find you? Um, at Chris on TikTok, at Chris Olson on it's Instagram. It's just at Chris on TikTok? At Chris, yes. 
That's he's got money. Sick. <laughs> yeah, he I didn't Help. have to pay for that. Of course you didn't, but that's because you're making so much money. Someone else <laughs> just paid for it so they can stay in your life. No, no. Mm. Uh, at Chris on TikTok, at Chris Olson on Instagram, and Chris Olson on YouTube. Thank you, my little, our little daddies. Thanks, right. daddies. <laughs> Oh, like and subscribe. We're supposed to say that.